Conversations. Conversations with, with S.D. Booker. Booker. Now, we, we talked on this, but we touched on this a little bit, energy. Uh, I always believe, and I'm not the first to, to come up with this, that energy doesn't die. Um, it can be transformed or transmuted, but it doesn't die. You can't kill energy. Uh, can you can you speak on that? And, and there's a word uh, that I heard of for the first time on a call you brought me on to, and that's biofeed. Uh, biofeedback. A lot mm-hmm. of people, I'm sure, have not heard of that, that term. Uh, what is biofeedback? Basically, biofeedback is where you're tamp- tapping into the quantum field. And again, like you were mentioning earlier on Immortal Minds, he talks about that a lot. He talks about uh, Neville Goddard and all that. All that, What they were doing was tapping into the quantum field. That's called biofeedback. You literally tap into that field You create things on that realm, on the quantum realm, and then they will manifest on this other realm. And so, like, as we seen the other day, you know, there's certain equipment that they've developed, the the guy from NASA that developed the equipment that can speed that up, but it has to work through you. It can't just do it by itself. It works through your spiritual connection. Wow. Wow. So, so, you know, I don't know if that answered your question or, or at all, but but uh, quantum quantum energy is very very fascinating to me. I've worked with it quite a bit. So, do you believe? And this is, this is something that crossed my mind the other day on that that meeting uh, that call. We spoke earlier about everybody being in in, in a different class, or they're having a different experience, a different stage in life. So, is it possible for all of us to get to that point where we can experience that quantum leap, uh, that biofeedback? Or do we want to do that? That could be dangerous. Do we want to get to that point at all, altogether? What do you mean? Like, how could it be dangerous? Or what, what are you talking about? I, well, that could, be, that could be perceived dangerous for all of us to be aligned. Uh, but or to tap into that, be able to tap into that. But then you have, and I would think just because you're tapped in doesn't mean you're righteous or you have good intent. Someone gets gets a hold of that or, or elevates to that level with the wrong intent. I think that could be a dangerous thing. Which is probably what happened to our world, right? The analogy of Lucifer, I believe that's an analogy. Lucifer, mm. that was an analogy of an inverted energy. But Lucifer took, Lucifer is, if you look up, and I studied Hebrew for, for years, I know that the, a lot of these words, like for example, the word salvation in Hebrew has a threefold meaning. It means peace, health, and prosperity. That's what the word salvation means, what everybody's looking for, right? Right. So you look at the term Lucifer, Lucifer, the term simply means an inversion of energy, a backward flow. Now, because Lucifer was powerful, it says right in the Bible, Lucifer fell from power. There's also a a documentary on YouTube that is intriguing, and it talks about the Luciferian fall from power. It's called Sex, the Secret Gate to Eden. That will blow your mind because it'll, it'll, it'll clarify some of those those energies and how we can, how the inverted energies are destructive. So when you say elevating to a certain level, you can't elevate with a certain, I believe you can't elevate with a certain energy, with a a inverted energy, you can go to hell, but you can't elevate. But now when you go to hell, you can take as many people around you to hell with you. Hmm. But as far as elevating, it would not be an elevated state. It would be a fall from the elevated state. If, if that makes well, any sense. It, it, it makes sense. Um, yeah, we, so I guess you're saying we're already, say we're already there. Mm-hmm. But to invert it, to make it all about us, and to be unrighteous, that would be a fall. Yes. That would be a fall from grace. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, either you're going to lift people up around you or you're going to pull them down. There's no middle ground. There's no man that lives to himself or dies to himself. It's all going to be either you're being a positive influence and lifting others up 
or you're pulling them down whether you know it or not. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. 